I'm gonna show you how to make a spicy tuna crispy rice foley paleo today that's gonna blow your mind. Let's get into it. We're gonna start off by making the spicy tuna component of the dish. And first, I gotta shout out OC Wild Seafood for this beautiful bluefin tuna that we're gonna be using today. Just make sure you're using a good quality fish for this since we are eating it raw. You wanna use sushi grade, use a bluefin tuna or ahi, or you could freeze the fish ahead of time, then thaw out before using. To start off, we're gonna slice up our fish. So you can see about this thickness. Give these a nice little thin slice, and then what we wanna do is we're gonna stack the fish. Basically cut into strips and then mince from there. Want a nice little mouthfeel here. Every now and then you're gonna run across these little sindhu pieces. It's a type of fat that doesn't really dissolve nicely. So it's a terrible mouthfeel. So just discard those as you see them. It's gonna be a way more pleasant experience. Once you have all the tuna chopped up, we're gonna throw it into a bowl. Then we're gonna wanna chop up some scallion extra fine that we're gonna be putting into the tuna mixture. For the mixer, we're gonna add in three tablespoons of mayo. Right here, I'm using an avocado mayo that I enjoy. One tablespoon of lime juice. It's about half a lime, full size, one small lime. Measure it out just to be safe. Two tablespoons green onion, thinly sliced one tablespoon coconut aminos, two tablespoons sriracha. If you want it spicier, do three. If you want it less spicy, start with one. One teaspoon sesame oil, one teaspoon salt. Mix this up until everything is combined. That will work. Mm. Cover the spicy tuna mixture with some plastic wrap. Make sure you squeeze all that air out there. Keep this nice and fresh. Throw this in the fridge while we make the patties. The rice patties are gonna consist of cauliflower rice and also potato. So basically these two together, it's gonna hold together really nicely. It's gonna give it a really nice mouthfeel like you're eating rice. To kick things off, we're gonna make the cauliflower rice. So start off by removing the stem, give this a nice rinse, and then we're gonna break down the cauliflower. Start off by cutting the florets off the stalk, and then we're gonna to wanna to chop them up a little bit. Throw some of the chunks in a food processor, and then we're gonna pulse this. If you don't have a food processor, just cut this with a knife. And then even when pulsing, make sure you keep it into like a rice grain size. You don't wanna to go too crazy here with blending. We don't want like a paste or anything. So you could see here, it's a nice grain texture. I used a medium sized cauliflower and I did measure it out, it's about four cups. So make sure you're using the same. Drizzle on two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Then we're gonna sprinkle with half teaspoon salt. Do a nice sprinkle of white pepper if you have it. 1 4 teaspoon pepper and 1 4 teaspoon garlic powder. Give that a nice mix. Make sure everything is combined. And then let's throw it in the oven at 400 for 10 minutes. Once the 10 minutes is up, you're gonna add the cooked rice to a bowl. You're gonna wanna let this fully cool before we do anything to it. Next up is the potato component. When I originally tested this, I did try to do a full on cauliflower version. It just didn't work out. I, you weren't able to pick it up with your hands. It kind of fell apart, so I decided to work in a potato to kind of bind it a little better, and it worked wonderfully. So basically grab yourself a potato, peel the potato, and then we're gonna shred it using a grater. Use the big side on the grater. We're gonna use four cups of the shredded potato. This is gonna be about two medium russet potatoes. Then you also wanna ensure that you're immediately putting the potatoes in water. If you don't do this, it's gonna oxidize, it's gonna turn all brown. 
Also make sure that the water is covering about an inch over the potatoes. Now add this to the stove top, get the heat on medium high. We're going to let this come to a simmer. Once it starts to simmer, we're going to cook this for 5 minutes, stirring every now and then. Doesn't need long to cook, we just want to cook them through a little bit and remove some of that starch. Remove from the stove and then strain this out. Hit it with some cold water. This is going to cool off the cooking process because we don't want the potatoes to come mealy. Once you feel that they've been cooled off, get yourself a clean towel and then you're going to pour the potatoes right to the center. Wrap the towel around the potatoes and squeeze all that moisture out. This is a very, very important step because if we don't do this, batter is going to get a little soggy. It's not going to form nice patties. So please make sure you take your time on this one. Add the potato to the cool cauliflower rice. Throw that in the bowl and mix up so that those are both well combined. Beat up one egg, give that a little whisk. Add in the beaten egg and then you're going to want to sprinkle in two teaspoons of salt, half teaspoon of onion powder, half teaspoon of garlic powder, half teaspoon of pepper, one fourth cup plus one tablespoon arrowroot powder. Add in two thirds cup potato starch, one fourth cup modified tapioca starch. Mix this up with your hands until it's all combined. Really want to make sure you get everything incorporated. Now scoop out some of the mixture. You can see here I'm basically balling it up. You want to try to get this to a nice patty. And then basically just fix out the sides and the bottoms. And what you're trying to do here is form a square. So just picture like you would find in the restaurant with the, you know, the nice box, perfect angles. So take your time here. Don't rush through it. Get a nice square patty and then we'll add it to the tray. Once you have all those molded, we're going to throw these in the freezer and do that for at least three hours up to overnight. What this is going to do, it's going to get the outside nice and crispy and the inside is going to get that nice little chewy kind of texture like you would find with the rice. Here's what they'll look like outside the freezer. These have been in there about three hours so you can see nice and solid. It's going to form almost like a rock and that's exactly what we want. It's going to ensure it's going to hold together when it hits the oil. Let's tap frying. I got my trusty Dutch oven four quart right here. I'm going to be using some avocado oil. We're going to use two cups. We want to get a nice fry on these. We want to get the oil to about 370. This because remember we're adding in frozen patties. So it's going to bring the oil temperature way down. When we're frying, we want to keep the oil about 350 to 360. So each time you're adding the patties in, up the oil temperature a little bit. You can see here you want that bubbly, nice sear. If you're not getting that right off the bat, remove the patties and increase the oil temperature. If you leave them in, they're going to get all soggy because the oil is not hot enough. We're going to let these go for about 3 to 4 minutes per side. Once you flip, we want to get that nice golden brown color and then let the other side cook. Once they're nice and golden brown on each side, you're going to want to remove these. Add to a wire rack. This is going to allow the excess oil to drip off. Now that we have our finished patties, you can see how golden brown and beautiful those are. Let's plate up. And it's very easy. Just take the spicy tuna. Then you're basically going to want to mound it on top of the patty. Basically just use a spoon or even your hands to mold it so it looks really nice. I like a little more heat, so slice up a serrano pepper, pretty thin, top with a piece or two, and then that's it guys. Let's take a nibble. Wow, that was a tasty bite. You could see here the crispy outer layer, 
and that fluffy inside. It literally looks like rice, and then the mound of tuna on top. You're not gonna miss the restaurant version. This paleo version tastes identical. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a little like and make sure you subscribe. Plenty more videos are coming out to a home near you. Peace.